Hi, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Bolt Creek Fire in eastern uh, Snohomish County and um, the northern part of uh, the east part of King County. Um, <clears throat> before I do that, I just want to give a huge shout out, thank you to all the first responders, um, emergency services, fire services, uh, everybody that's really sprung into action to mobilize all the resources uh, we can to respond to the fire and <clears throat> keep people in their property safe, as safe as we possibly can. And also uh, to the firefighters that are on the line there, there is no tougher work in the world than uh, being a ground crew on a fire. And they've been really focused over the last couple of days and trying to make sure that we're protecting structures uh, near index uh, along highway 2 and uh, the town of skycomish uh, trying to protect them and so far there's been very minimal losses of any uh, property but fire has grown to about 8,000 acres um, it's not spreading rapidly at the moment that first day it spread extremely rapidly uh, we've got a couple of things in our favor uh, light winds uh, temperatures aren't too extreme uh, and uh, we've had a little a uh, little bit of moisture and humidity that's helped uh, things a little bit. But the next couple of weeks are going to be really um, going to have to watch this thing carefully. It's mostly in the wilderness areas, the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest, uh, wild sky wilderness in particular. And <clears throat> it will continue to burn there for some time. But we're we're going to be watching particularly... Uh, to the west, uh, towns of the Index and down the valley, as well as Skycomish and, and up the valley. Um, the, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the response has been great. The Evergreen State Fairgrounds are open for smoke and other shelter needs in the Weichel Building. Uh, our incident command uh, system has been stood up and the headquarters is centered also at the Evergreen State Fairgrounds and we are sheltering animals as well. So if you have any needs to uh, relocate or to bring uh, your animals to safety, uh, the fairgrounds is one great option. <clears throat> Many thanks to the Red Cross and others that are helping us staff that facility. So just rest assured you've got some really fantastic people working on this. Oh, uh, one last thing is um, the response has been mostly local to date, but today, which is Monday, uh, we are transitioning over to uh, the incident command uh, being directed and led by Washington State Department of Natural Resources and the U.S. Forest Service. So I'll try to keep you updated. Um, Nothing drastic to report right now. Things are relatively stable, as stable as they can be with a wildfire. Just if you are asked to evacuate or leave a place, please do so. Uh, those uh, requests and those categories of evacuation are not uh, made lightly or to be taken lightly. Um, fires can behave in extremely unpredictable manners and can move very quickly so please uh, <clears throat> respond and and heed any uh, requests for evacuation should they come in the coming days and weeks so with that thank you and uh, we'll be back to you